Okay, so I've been thinking with Python and oh my god, it's been a pain, a real pain. Um, so I'm making this video so hopefully it won't be a pain for any of you. So here's the thing. Uh, I'm going to show you how to install Python, how to update pip. I'll tell you what that is. I'm, we're going to install some modules and we're going to um, import data in Power BI using on our, no, a Python script. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing you need to do is just to download Python. So you just search on your browser, Python download, it will take you here. And then you go to download the latest Python version, if you want something else, pick something else. But if you want something else, you probably don't need me. Um, you can go here in Windows. The, the big yellow button is basically what you want for Windows, but you can come here and you have other download types. Okay, so otherwise you just go here, boom, this download button will take you where you need to go and it will installed, um, it will not load one of these files. Now I have already Python installed, okay? After a lot of pain, I got it installed. So I'm gonna show you how it is done. It is actually very easy. Once you uh, click on, on the download file, you will get this screen and then you just click install now. Make sure you check this uh, Python 3.7 path and um, it will install everything and then you just close. And then in a lot of places they talk about variables and adding paths and all. But I didn't have to do that probably because I added this path in here. I don't know. But once you have installed Python on your computer, you need to open the command. And this is where you will work from. And the uh, First of all, to know that Python has been installed correctly, you go here and you go Python. And this should tell you, make sure you spell it correctly, which version of Python you have installed. And in this case, we have 3.7.1, which we already knew, so great. And now you can start executing things. So we can say print the typical, right? Hello world. And now it will print. Now, to install packages like you do in R, you need to have something called pip. So pip is like a package that allows you to install other packages or libraries. Um, that was a mess for me, but the first thing you need to do is to actually exit this. So you go back to the command. Once you've done that, you can actually go to pip and see which version. First, if you have it installed, which you will have, and then which version. And one of the things I had to do is actually upgrade. So I have to upgrade my pip so I could install stuff. So to update your pip, my God, you just go there and you write pip3 install. And then in my case, it is already updated. So it's telling me like, hey, what do you want to update? It's ready. You're good to go. Fantastic. So once you have that, you install pip. To install something, you write pip first. So you call the package that you can actually install other packages and then install uh, pandas. This is very similar to uh, R. And then you click enter. And it says requirement already satisfied because I already have pandas. But that's how you would do. You will go to the command box, you write pip install and then your package whatever that is called and then you put it in there and then you get it installed okay so now you can install any package you want to run any script you want good let's go to power bi and i know i know and update this um we go here to options and settings options and the first thing you need to do is to make sure that you have the Python support on. Okay, make sure you've installed that, that you tick that. Once you've done that, you go to Python scripting and you check that everything looks fine. Here is uh, if you want to have another program to run in Python, you can use like Visual Studio or whatever, just add it in here. Um, I just leave it like is. And now we can actually run some scripts. 
So what I am going to run is the example that is in here. Run Python scripts, I will put the link down below. There is a CSV somewhere. Here, I will put this link below. So you can download this file and then we're going to import it into Power BI. And for that, we write the Python script connect and this is how we import something. If you want to try this exact same example, you need to have a library called matplotlib. Just warning you, otherwise it won't work. We're on the hard way. So data this is the name of the variable. And then this is the command that will actually go to this place where I have a CSV file that is not here. That's not good. We need to have the name of the CSV file also. So it's just the path to your file, nothing else. Um, so copy that, go in there and I add it here. Make sure that you have, you know, the right backslash in here. So normally if you copy, it will go be that way. You need to change it that way. And then you put the CSV file. And once that is done, you click OK. And hopefully, fingers crossed, you don't get a nasty error. And voila, you have your Python script to load a CSV file. I know this is a silly example, but hey this is to install python there you have the data and now you can clean in python and do all kinds of magic but uh i hope this video is useful i just lost a few hours on this and it annoyed the heck out of me so i don't want you to lose a few hours you should know that i lose them so enjoy the video and i'll see you again tomorrow bye so hello there, do you know that I publish Power BI videos every Monday, Wednesday and Fridays? So make sure you hit the subscriber button and the bell to receive notifications every time I do that.